And this video here is to help you when you're buying a new mower, and in this case, this mower that you just gave to me, but if you're buying a used mower, just I will show you, you know, some tips and how to, you know, find problems and stuff like that. You can maybe you know, bargain down the price, you know, stuff like that. When, um, okay, so I'm going to go, to go over first is okay, lift the hood up here. You want to check. Get this flashlight over here. It's kind of dark over here, so it's hard to see. This flashlight over here, you want to check these fuel lines right here because if these are all, you know, all cracked and hard, the fuel is not going to go down through there, they're going to have to be replaced. And you have to, these, these are all rubber parts, so you have to replace these every so often. And this thing is actually a manual tug that went in the other engine. So if something like this hanging loose, that means this is not the original engine. So, um, good, good, one eight. And to, now, Murray's are bad uh, to have wiring problems. Like, I've had like a hundred issues with wiring problems with this thing. You have bad grounds or all kinds of stuff. So, you want to check for that. Oh, you want to, if you have oil leaking out the bottom of the dipstick tube right there, which it already is, that means you probably got bad seal. And uh, the heat shield, now, a lot of times you find these with that way they're not attached because they're hard to get back on. But uh, you want to attach these because it keeps the hood from getting hot and burning your hand when you touch it. Valve cover. If you find one of these has got a gas maker in it, that's going to be a big problem because it's being hard to get on it and get it on and off when you get it off. So now, oh, and also. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to look the shoot up here and check the spindles. And the berries, because you want to take the blade, you want to make sure the blade's not bent and out of shape. And if you shake this up and down, that tells you, you know, if you got bad spindles, bad blades, you can say, hey, if you got bad blades, bad spindles, you know how much it's going to cost me to fix. So, you want to keep a lookout for that. Okay, the battery. As you see, this is 319. That means this battery was made in 2019. So, it makes brand new. I said, yeah, they put a brand new battery in it, and it says, like, through 12. That means that battery's like almost uh, 10 years old, like eight years old actually. So they tell you that the battery ain't very new, it probably, it probably did and ain't gonna work and it's sitting outside. So, um, the muffler right on the, we had a twin cylinder. I got an example right over here, I'll show you. I'm gonna put, put this twin cylinder on the snapper over here, I can for another Murray. Um, if you, if it's not running good and you feel one side, you know, if the exhaust mount fold and it's really hot and you can't push it, you go over here and feel this one and, and if it's cold, that means you're only running on one cylinder. And the reason for that is you could either have a bad spark plug or the cool, you know, one of the wires ain't working. I mean, that's an easy fix if that happens if you got another cool, but, um, so be aware for that and also hey guess what failures like for instance if you don't take it if you run it you, because you want you want to run it for a little bit drive around and engage the lake and all that stuff make sure everything's working so if you stop that and you pull the dipstick tube out the tube the dipstick out of the tube and there's a bunch of smoke pouring out of the dipstick tube that means that's, that's a sign of a blown head gasket. And also it's coming out of the muffler too. Now these breaking strap and engines like that are bad to have head gasket failures. And that's usually the reason mowers with these engines, you know, have a part because probably a head gasket got blown or something. But keep in mind, these are actually good engines. They, they won't cost you a fortune to replace like Kohler and all those other ones. So you can get one with a breaking strap engine and that's I suggest doing so. But you'll probably have to fix the head gasket because they're bad to blow out. But, um, and um, the uh, you want to run it to um, yeah, like I said, you know, make sure everything's you know, running good and everything, and you want to 
engage the blades like so. Because so, so, if you we have the blades engaged and, you, and if you hear all kind of your rattling, squealing, all kinds of noise like that, you hear squealing that either means that you got your belt bad and fixing to go out. You got bad pulleys. And if it's really loud, that means you got bad bearings in the blades. So they need to be uh, replaced. Like I should, should have said a minute ago, if you're checking down there, that means you're, you need to also look for bent blades. If you got a bent blade, that means you have to replace it. And as far as I was to say, this thing right here that I pulled up, go, this thing here, this is actually a manual truck that went on that 12 horsepower engine, which was a flathead, which I do not like flatheads. And, um, and you also want to check your oil filter, you know, make sure you're not all dirty and nasty in there. And check your gas tank. Because if you were to pull this off here, you look down in there, and there's a bunch of old gas sitting down in there, which that's good gas because I've been running this. But if you take that off, you look down in there, and there's a bunch of old uh, nasty gas in there, that's going to be a big problem because if because the john like i had a john deere that did this if you start a mower it's got old gas in it and it it will cause a backfire and it could possibly build a muscle part like i had with the john deere but look like i got that fixed but now getting old gas out of a gas tank is especially if it's been sitting there for years it's hard to do because it's like jello trying to come out of there and it's nasty i had an old murray push mower that uh, I got for free, you know, I had a bunch of whole gas sitting in it for who knows how long. And it still came out like jello, it was nasty. <laughs> so yeah, you want to check for that. On here, this is your, like, your parts and like your serial numbers and stuff like that. So if you need a part of something, you can look for here. So, now, a lot of these parts aren't available anymore because this mower was made like back in 2001. So, majority of the parts probably ain't available anymore. And, um... Yeah, so the not star solenoid, but the fuel solenoid here. The key right here. You should when you turn the key, you should hear a click. Hear that click. So if you don't hear that, that means it either is gummed up with fuel or it's eat up and pain you can do. And the starter solenoid, which is like down in here. So as you see it's right there you can kind of see it all this wire attached to it if that goes out you it'll click and you have two terminals in there that touch the hot wire and the black wire and when those touch that sends power off to the starter here and if that's not if those don't touch it's not going to send any power to the starter and it's not going to start anything. so which those they're some of them are easier to replace than others like this one's like super hard to replace because you can see there's not very much room in there to get to it. Murray's, uh, I never liked Murray's because you can't hardly keep them running because when they go out, it, it, it it's hard to get them back to running. So, um, the headlights are missing on this one because the headlights were in there when I got it, but one of them fell out and I, and I never could find it in the yard, so I just took them out of there. But if you, they're missing headlights, I mean, it's not that big of a deal. I mean, because they a lot of times you find them the headlights don't even work. So and mowers such as like snappers don't even have headlights on them. So that's so that's not that that big of a deal. You also got information right here, protected by Penzol and powered by Breaking and Stratton. And if so, if you look at this right here, and it tells you usually it'll tell you what engine's on it. And when you look at the engine, and if it, like I said you know, powered by Brazilian Stratton, you open it and it's got a Culver engine on it, that means that ain't the original engine. <laughs> but, um, there's yeah, so some of my tips here to, uh, when you're buying a new mower, you know, to what to look out for and stuff like that, so. And, um, also, one thing you want to keep in mind, uh, when you do, when you especially look at mowers, you know, missing outside, it, especially in you know, areas like I live in Alabama, it's bugs. If you have a mower that's been sitting outside for years and years and years, it's probably gonna have tons and tons of bugs building it, like wasps, spiders, you know, 
like this mower here when I first got it, it was inside the uh, uh, dash here. There was a huge, huge ass wash nest in there, and uh, and when I was mowing with they all kind of flying out of it, and I jumped off of it, you know, of course, and the sea safety actually may stop, but I don't got that sea safety actually working now. I disabled it because it, it, it was more. Uh, Sea safety doesn't help anything really. I mean, it's more annoying than just anything. So, and I had a green crestman uh, that has had some videos on it. When I first got it, there was tons of black widows building the deck down there. So you want to keep in mind, you know, look, watch out for bugs. Because if you're looking at them over outside and you open it like this, and there could be a wasp nest in there, and they fly out and they sting you, that's going to be bad, especially if there's like mahogany wasps and stuff like that. Or in case, you know, nowadays killer hornets that could kill you. So you wanna be you wanna to, to be on the lookout for stuff like that. So and tires I'm gonna scratch them wheels. You want to check the wall right here, you know, for that like, cracks and stuff, because they could air these up and then you get home they're flat. Because if there's cracks in here, they're dry right out, they're not gonna hold air. So you have to put tire tubes in them to get them to uh, hold air like it, this case had to do with these. Because put the locks on the back because the both of them were rotted, it wouldn't hold air. So, so putting tire tubes in tires is a lot of work. So, thank y'all for watching. Uh, hit like, you know, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. And see y'all next week. Down to hell, drank from his glass and felt just fine. I asked him, Where's that girl of mine? The devil just smiled and left me behind. I smiled back and finished my beer and said, Adios, I am shit.